Hey guys, it's Kip here from KDC Marketing, and in today's video, I wanna show you a really cool tool in Wix Studio, and this also exists in the Wix editor. It's called the Site History Tool, and what it allows you to do is look at all the different versions of your published website, and you can restore versions, and so if you ever needed to go back to something that you had a couple of weeks ago, you can restore that version of the website. So let me show you how to get there. So I'm in my Wix Studio dashboard here, on the left hand side you go to the settings and then you go to website settings and then down here at the bottom if you scroll down you have the site history and this tells you what this feature does it allows you to view and restore previous versions of your website so if you click restore versions what's going to happen is it's going to show you all the different times your website was published and you have some different options here I'm just gonna keep it on all revisions. So this is the website right now. And this, these are the previous versions over here. And you can actually go in and rename these if you want to. But let's say I wanted to go back to July 3rd when this was published before. If I click this arrow, it allows me to view this version of the website here and I can scroll through and see exactly what it looked like with all the animations just as if it was live and I get the links that show up if I were to click those buttons and everything. If I want to restore this all I have to do is click restore. So then I can go ahead and restore this version and then this would become the actual live version of the website. So this goes all the way back to whenever you've published your website uh, it's a really cool feature that uh, not a lot of people know about and it what it does for me is it gives me peace of mind knowing that if I made a mistake on a website or if I wanted to go back to an earlier version that I really liked or maybe there was something seasonal and then I just wanted to go back to the website how it was uh, a few months ago I just go in here and find the correct version and then I can restore it the other thing is if there were pages up here we would be able to see the different pages that were in the in the navigation so if you lost content on a page and you can't seem to find it or something happened you can go back in here and restore a version of the website and see the content that was on that page so this is Wix Studio's way of giving you a backup of so you can see when this website first started this one's really different uh, different outline altogether um, very very different look very very different feel back in March than than what it is now so um, so yeah you can always go back and recover earlier versions of your website it just gives you that peace of mind that there's always a backup there if you need to go in and restore something so one other thing I did want to show you was kind of this let me go back to this version here this is what this website looked like only a couple of weeks ago and it's very black and white and uh, a little bit boring actually as I look through this again it's it's a little too black and white um, so what I did is I went in and I actually updated this website to the KDC marketing brand colors the KDC marketing brand colors are white black a dark blue and a light gray and so this just didn't have any of the KDC blue um, and it was just kind of more of a gray and I, the more I thought about it, I wanted to update this. So um, this is what it looks like now. And I made quite a few updates to this. So I'm just gonna preview this. So now it's got the KDC blue and it's got more of that blue on white, which I really like. And I just feel like the colors here come together so much better uh, than the other website. And there's still a good amount of gray um, with black, uh, but I just feel like there's so much more color in it now than there was. So one of the things that I did to make this change was just using color. I updated some animations. I actually updated the font too because the KDC marketing font is in Montserrat. And when I first did that page, I just didn't. I just did it in the regular Wix um, default font. So I want to show how I did that just really quickly. Um, I was able to go in and change this. I used the site colors, the site styles tool. So I updated the typography, typography to Montserrat, Montserrat Black and Montserrat for the two fonts. And then the colors I updated, this is the KDC Blue right here. 
but I added that in and it gave me all these colors here. So really this was the original color palette up here with kind of a purple uh, color. If we go back to the version, you can see when you hover, there's kind of a purple color, which wasn't even uh, in my color palette. And so when I put this together, um, it was it was fine. It just didn't really encapsulate the all of the KDC marketing that I wanted it to. So I went in and I updated it to this, and uh, I like this so much better now that it has the updated colors and animations, and I just feel like it pops so much more with the white on blue and with the Montserrat font. I, Montserrat font, I really think it all comes together pretty nicely. So I just want to highlight those two things that when you go in and make changes to the website, you always have a history, you always have a site history of any of those published changes that you can go back and you can look at and compare to, you can restore versions, you could restore one version today and then restore another one for tomorrow um, and it will allow you to publish, uh, publish everything out all from that site history uh, feature here. Um, and it is kind of nice to go back. I had forgotten that you know some of these earlier versions were a completely different layout. Um, so there's one with a video of me that I, I didn't end up keeping. Um, so this one is getting closer to what it is now. If we go a little further back, we can see that this other version, let's see, uh, probably a little even further back. I think it was in March. So this is kind of when it switched to and all of these these versions are different. Um, this is this is before it, yeah. So this is was this older version with this kind of cool hover effect. And see, this even has just placeholder text; doesn't have anything in it yet. So, so that's what I wanted to highlight in today's video. If you ever need to, for whatever reason, get get um, your site get into your site history. Then you just go to, we did it this way earlier where you went to settings and website settings and it's there at the bottom. But another way that you can get there is uh, site and mobile app and then website. And then down here you also have site history that'll also take you there. So that was in the site and mobile app and then website and site history. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and uh, just want to point out that websites are living, breathing things. They should always be updated and um, over time, you know, you should always be optimizing them, updating them, making them better. And that's something that I realized I needed to do for this landing page, just make it better. Um, I even shrinked some of the sections down. I went back and edited a lot of the things and just cleaned it up a bit. Um, and it's really fun to do that. I, I enjoy going back and looking at a website a couple weeks or months later and saying, what do we need to do to fix this and make it better? Um, and that should be a constant question and a constant process. Um, websites are always needing to be maintained. All right, well, that's what I have for today's video and I will see you in the next video.